Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for um, tuning in to Hello There with Gwen. Today is Friday. I just want to bring on a special guest. You know, I mentioned earlier that this whole month I'll be dedicating a lot of my interviews to a woman because of Women History Month. And um, I will be sharing with everyone all these women that I met through my online business as well as women I met in my personal life on their journey and about their life, their business, and um, who they are. So today we have Crystal. Hi, Crystal. How are Hello. you? And baby Z. <laughs> and baby Z. Um, so, Crystal, can you, um, you know, introduce yourself a little bit to my followers and our viewers and um, let us know where you're from, what you do, and um, your kids. Okay. Hello. So I am Crystal. I am um, from Franklin, Pennsylvania, really a uh, small town. You know, you blink, you miss it. Born and raised. Um, I'm a single mom. Of two children. I have a almost 11 year old and this little one will be about eight months in a couple of days. Um, hey, yeah, you. <laughs> um, yeah, um, right now I'm still basically an employee as a logistics coordinator, but only um, for commission. You know, after I had my baby, everything changed. So it wasn't always like that. <laughs> I used to have a full-time job with benefits and all that good stuff, but it just didn't come back to me, I should say. Well, that's why we're here, and I'm glad to have met you in our online business. You know, this is a community where we meet people from all walks of life, and um, everyone are in starting this business for a reason. So, you know, it's for today, um, woman to woman, you know, this is a little talk that we want to share with everyone. How was it like growing up as a woman? So as a kid, growing up, I should say, I had a rough childhood. Um, my mom worked a lot. You know, we had things that went on that shouldn't as a kid, you know. And it's, you know, I'm 33 years old now. So I take it all in and look at it. And um, my mom did the best she could with what she had. Uh, I do know she worked several jobs. Um, if she struggled, I didn't see it. You know, for the most part, I had everything that I needed. Um, didn't matter. Like she made sure I had it. Um, I had a rough childhood though. In between there, um, just on preferences of my mom's boyfriend, and you know, just you know, family secrets and stuff that just probably. Uh, should have been brought out, but it wasn't, you know, everything was kept a secret back then. Uh, so yeah, but I'm here now and, you know, I've conquered so many demons and beautiful. I've had blessings and, um, honey, what'd you just do? <laughs> if this is how it is with uh, being a mom. <laughs> That's what happened. The whole screen went blank. <laughs> But as a kid, you know, um, my grandma helped raise me. My aunt helped raise me. Um, my mom was in and out of jail a lot. You know, when I was little, I was going to school at age 13, paying the bills. Um, so basically, my mom wasn't present. And, you know, I know that's all I ever wanted was a present mom. And, you know, her poor choices is you know, that's on her, but I refuse to be like that for my children. And I can see that you're always with your baby. And I love seeing baby Z's picture every single day. You know, um, about a week ago, you did a go live and you kind of mentioned about your recovery. Mm -hmm. And you also did a few posts on your page about that, talking about your recovery. So can you share with us, you know, what is it that gave you the strength? Um, can we be a little of uh, the strength to continue to live your life a better way and to, you know, so that you can take care of your kids? Okay. So, I mean, for me, um, I grew up in a household 
you know, full of prescription medication. And it wasn't always easy. It was always there, you know, and my mom should have taught me better, I feel, um, you know, but it all happened. And after, you know, at 17, I knew I was, you know, an addict. Um, I just didn't know which way to go. And no matter me going into treatment, I would always go back home. So it's like people, places and things. And that's really what it stems down to. So um, this last round, um, yeah, honey, did you want yet? I, um, you know, I lost my daughter for a while and that really hit home for me and it was hard. And for about 14 months, you know, and I did so much searching within myself, you know, that I had to do programs. I had to, um, basically, you know, I went, I won her back and it took me 14 <laughs> months to get there. Oh, baby. And, um, the, the strength that I had was, you know, and there was times in there where I thought, I'm like, you know, maybe she's better off without me, you know, being a mom and being in that position and realizing like, it was hard, but I'm like, without me being in her life, like that was something that I would never be able to, like, I would regret it the rest of my life, not being there for her. Um, this is parenting 101. <laughs> um, so, you know, and my daughter is my saving grace. Um, if it wasn't for her, I probably still wouldn't be breathing. Um, you know, she's the one that kept me fighting this whole time. She's the one that's giving me my strength. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing with us. You know, I know it's hard to, um, to speak about your past a little bit and recovery, but you're so strong and inspiring to be able to tell everyone about it through your page and, and to, to share with us your journey a little bit on that. And now that you've been through all that ups, down the hurdles and, you know, you have your baby and recently you found this online business. So what made you get out of your comfort zone and jump into a totally brand new venture? that you never, you know, knew anything about? Um, I mean, I've had many multiple jobs. I have, I swear I've been the jack of all trades, you know, like I've been a bartender, I've been a waitress, I've been a um, fruit expert, I've been in-home health, taking care of, you know, um, clients, a lot of them. Um, a logistics coordinator, I have been like oh my gosh I've had so many jobs you know but nothing's never stuck with me and I'm like is this really what I'm gonna be doing the rest of my life you know it's I want to go to my job and be like inspired I want to like love what I do not be like oh god I gotta get up and do it again you know and to be away from my children I'm sorry like I wasn't here to be put on earth to have kids to have to drop them at the babysitters for 10 to 12 hours out of the day. And then by the time I come home, like I don't have no energy. I don't, you know what I mean? I just want to, and then I got to make food and it's hard to juggle your work life and your home life and try to be on a balance because there, I don't believe there is such a thing. You know, your work life overtakes your family life because you have to have money to live. Um, you know, you need money to put food on the table. You need money to put a roof over your head. So this business, um, I, for myself, was looking for many months after I had the baby. Um, I had a full-time job. I had benefits, all that. But it's like, after I had him, I was put clear down in commission. Like, I didn't ask for that. They thought that's what was best for me at the time of my child, which to me, that's wrong. Like, I don't see how somebody can choose that for you when I was ready to come back to work full time at 11 weeks after I had my son working from home, there shouldn't have been a problem. So it just, you know, made me feel really disposable. Like my, my future is not set. It's not secure. And being a single mom, that's scary. Like, oh, how am I going to raise my kids now? How am I going to pay my bills? Like, I had so much going on in my mind. Um, like, how am I even going to do this? You know, like, I have two children counting on me daily. So 
I was just um, up all night, several nights <laughs> with the baby and um, just searching the internet, like at home jobs, just anything, you know, but nothing really like appealed. Um, a couple did, but nothing that like stuck. So then one night, it was like probably two in the morning, I come across um, a beautiful lady. Um, she is now my mentor, Jolie. And I read her ad and I'm like, hmm, you know, and like at first I'm like, it sounds too good to be true, you know, and it was just very inspiring though, you know, a mom of four, you know, and online business. And, um, so I just kind of, I think I asked her a couple questions, you know, we started chatting back and forth and I don't know. I just, I watched the webinar twice and then I'm like, you know, let's just take it to the next step. I was a little hesitant, scared, but I mean, something new change is good, but it's scary at times, but I'm so glad I did it when I did it. Cause like, I've never really looked back. There's nothing to look back at, you know, other than how far you've come. Um, so, I mean, what am I about two months in, but honestly, I have gained so many relationships in here. They're like my family. They are my family. Um, it doesn't matter day or night, middle of the night. Like if you have a question or a problem, someone is going to be there to answer it. You know, um, the support we get, um, it's just amazing. Like, I don't even get this much support with any of my friends or family, you know? So it's just, it's really a, a blessing, actually. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you for sharing. And I know, like you said, you just, you've been in here this business for just two months, but so far, what have you learned from the business that you can share with everyone? So that, you know, people who are looking in and wondering what this business is about and, um, you know, beside providing additional income for you, but what else is it that you gained and learned from this business so far? So, so far, you know, um, personal growth, you know, personal growth is number one. Um, you know, I feel like doing the same thing repeatedly day in and day out with a nine to five, you don't grow, you stay the same, you stay stuck. We're here, like you're constantly growing. You're your new ideas and being your own boss, like you got to hold yourself accountable. And, you know, um, in my life for my personal experiences, like I've been so strong through so many things. And it's like, if you can get through that, you can definitely get through this. Um, you know, nothing good comes easy, but I feel like if you want it bad enough, it's, it's all going to fall into place. Um, it already is. So like the support with the people, like my, the community's amazing. Um, um, like the flexibility. I am a busy mom. He's constantly <laughs> on my lap 24 seven. So, you know, it's when I feel, you know, um, just even being comfortable. Yeah. And how about all of any new skills that you've learned from this business so far? So I'm not tech savvy at all. Um, my last job being a logistics coordinator, like I had to learn the computer and I had to learn, you know, turning them on and all that, you know, I'm 33 years old. It's been so long since I've dealt with computers, but um, the training, the training is amazing. It's there word for word, step by step bit by bit videos um just I've actually gained a lot from that you know and I can actually help people today when they have questions you know the other day uh, I helped one of our family members in there you know and it actually feels good like hey I just helped her you know so um just gaining the growth you know is number one which is awesome because there's always room for improvement. Yes, it is. It is true. You know, as a, as a human being, we should always continue to grow, whether it's our mindset or our skills, because life continues to change daily. And if we don't continue to learn and grow along with life, we'll always be left behind. And when that happens, it's just going to push us into a little corner and makes you feel like you're not, you're not the same level as other people. And so that can take a negative effect on just you personally, right? Um, and, and, 
you know, your story is so inspiring. Thank you so much for sharing with everyone on our page. And I just love seeing BBC all the time. And I really want people to, you know, meet you and to learn more from you because you're so strong. You've been through so, so much and to be able to be where you're at right now and to see your kid as the strength for yourself, it is something that other single mom can look up to. You know, you are a living inspiration to many, many single moms out there who mm -hmm. are going through probably the same thing that you don't know about. Okay, there's so many people in this world who are struggling in this different parts of their life, but what you're telling, what you're sharing is an inspiration to others. And thank you so much for sharing that story with us and your life with us. And you know, and letting everyone know how you got into this business. And even like you said, even when you're so busy with your life, you can still manage to run a business on the side. And it's all because of your why, which are your kids. And I believe a lot of moms out there who feel the same exact way. So anyone who's watching this and you're a mom who's looking for something to do for to basically just to better yourself, as well as getting additional income for your family, check us out. And there's yeah. nothing to lose here. Like Major said, there's, really, I mean, Crystal said, there's really nothing to lose here. Nothing. Um, you know, and the best thing about it too, like we're all different individuals, but we're all here wanting the same thing for each and every one of us. Like, you know, we all walk beside each other, you know, and it's just awesome. Um, just and you're so multitasking because you can still keep a straight face and continue to answer my question <laughs> <laughs> with baby Z. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit anywhere. Hey, hi. Give <laughs> me this day. <laughs> and any, la any last words to you know our viewers, baby Z and Crystal? Um, you know, there's inspiration. There's <laughs> totally hope. And like, if you know you come where I come from, I just want you to know, like there is help and there's there's other ways there's you know there's another way um you don't got to stay stuck forever um you know just believe in yourself and you will see the results um just just believe in yourself you know and i've had to believe in myself for you know a good while now but um if i didn't have that you know within i just I don't know every day is a new day and you just got to keep fighting um i just feel like this business is the best opportunity that i've ever come by so i'm gonna stick with it and you know i, I tried to share it and tell it to other people because i will i want to share something really good you know i see other people struggling you know so i get the word out and if they join they join if they don't they don't and i feel like that's on them but to share it you know i just want people to know it's a blessing Thank you so much. And you are right. Every day is a new day and you got to just do something for yourself and believe in yourself. So thank you so much, Crystal. And thank Have you, baby Z. <laughs> He's chilling. Thanks for having uh, thank me. you so much everyone for tuning in to hello there with Gwen and today's special guest is Crystal and I'll come back to you guys next week with another interview with wonderful women for the Women History Month. Thank you. Bye-bye.